Good morning, Junior Sri. Uh, how are you? Our lesson today is talking about habit. Okay, what's the meaning of habit? We make a revision um, about habit. Habit is a choice. We can make it every day. Okay, if I have two choices, I choose this choice every day. So this is called what? Habit. Habit may be a good habit or bad habit. Good habit is called healthy habit. Bad habit is called unhealthy habit. Okay. Okay. Uh, this is called healthy habit tracker. Okay. Yesterday we uh, make this uh, table uh, at Wednesday. Okay. Now. Uh, at uh, Thursday we uh, make a check if I uh, do this healthy habit if I get enough sleep check uh, this uh, uh, table at Thursday okay if you stay positive and calm at uh, Thursday check it if you eat healthy um, good check if you stay active good check okay uh, study my uh, my subject if you study your subject today you must do what you must uh, check this if you make your bed uh, uh, today check this if you read a new book put a check here okay if you don't uh, do this, uh, boot wrong or uh, check this or write. Okay. Okay. Uh, tomorrow you will uh, do the same things at Friday. If you get enough sleep, uh, boot uh, write or check. If you stay positive and so on. Okay. And Thursday after tomorrow you uh, do this again. Okay. So as Thursday and Friday and Saturday, uh, after coming to school, we uh, make this uh, Sunday. Okay. Okay. Now um, we work uh, our brain very hard at school, right? Okay. But uh, but during the day we need to take a break. Okay. We need to take a break. Our brain need to take a break so it is important to uh, get your brain uh, break and get your body more move okay and uh, get uh, our body moving or um, make a physical uh, sports or physical exercise okay so uh, physical exercise meaning move move our hands or our legs and so on mental exercise uh, means use our brain okay so we need to do what we need to take a break and uh, do more exercise to move our body okay how do you feel uh, after uh, you have been sitting at a desk for a long time okay you feel what you feel your body is very tired and you need to what to move right so we need to what we need to take uh, a break for uh, your brain and uh, get more move or more movement to your uh, body okay so uh, we act like animal like what like a monkey monkey um, climb to the tree to get the banana right uh, the bird the bird fly in the sky and the dog walk uh, on the street and run uh, on the street right so this is active animal this is what active animal we like uh, we uh, make like this animal and uh, do exercise or physical uh, exercise okay so we need to what we need to uh, act like what act like 
animal okay animal is more active okay and we make what we make uh, an activity like what picking oranges from a tree okay picking orange from a tree is a physical uh, a physical exercise okay and I need to what to uh, do more exercise okay so the brain break activity is what is baking oranges from a tree okay okay now we uh, need to do many things number one do a mental challenge number two do a movement okay so uh, movement like number one stand up okay if I stand up I do what I do more exercise number two turn around the tree number three count the orange what is this count the orange is what is a mental exercise right I count uh, orange one two three so I use my brain to count this orange number four we use a life skills life skills like what like collaboration collaboration and communication with our friends okay so number four I use collaboration with uh, your friend so we make three things number one we make a movement number two a mental exercise number three use live skills okay turn as a page and write the date 12 dash 11 dash 2020 and draw yourself picking the orange okay draw yourself and your friend picking what picking the oranges okay how does the activity help our body to stay healthy number one making me active this activity making me more active more alert okay number two i use collaboration with my friend this is what uh, this is a life skills number two makes me focus or attention by mental exercise okay so number one i use uh, i make a movement so it's make make me what make me active number two i use life skills like collaboration so it makes uh, uh, so I use collaboration with my friend number three makes me focus uh, so uh, I use a mental exercise okay okay write this uh, on your book and close your book and listen to me okay close your book and listen to me uh, look at uh, this photo this is what this is a, a human body like this brain and this heart this lungs and so on okay when we see this uh, photo or any photo with label like this label this is called labels this is called what labels okay so this is called this uh, photo called diagram okay so what's the meaning of diagram photos with label okay photos with what label this label help me to explain how something works how something works okay i i, I know from this uh, label brain this is called what brain and this heart and this lungs and so on so these labels help me to explain how something work okay so what's the meaning of diagram diagram is image that helps to explain how something work and this is diagram is a, a photo with labels okay okay our body consists of uh, many organs uh, like what uh, like uh, my hair 
my eye, my nose, my tooth, my ear, and so on. But we can see all body parts of my body. I can see the external uh, things of my body, like my hair, my eyes, my nose, my tooth, and so on. But I can't see the internal organs, like lung. Uh, this lungs you can uh, see the lungs of you, or the liver, the kidneys, or stomach, or brain. You can see your brain or your heart. No. So this body part is um, inside of my body. Okay, I can't see them. Uh, and the other part, I can see them like the external external organs like mouth or neck or arm and so on. Okay, so we have two types of body part. Number one, uh, uh, parts inside my body, I can't see them. Number two, parts we can see every day uh, and it's outside or uh, external organs. Okay. Okay, so our body consists of two parts. Number one, parts I can see them. Number two, parts I can't see see them. Okay. Okay. Open your be uh, open your book page thirty six and uh, write the date twelve dash eleven dash twenty twenty. Okay, look at uh, this picture. This what this is label of picture. Okay, this is what this heart. Repeat after me, heart, heart. This is called what? This is called the stomach. Stomach. This is stomach. Um, we uh, the food uh, go inside our body and go to this stomach. Okay. This uh, blue line is called veins. Called what? Veins. Called what? Veins. Okay. Look at the uh, second board. This is called what? Bones. Called what? Bones. This is a solid board. A solid board is called what? Bones. Okay. This is called skin. Skin cover cover all of my body cover all of my body is called what skin called what skin okay and this is called muscle called what muscle called what muscle okay muscle uh, is like uh, this and this muscle and this uh, red board is muscle and this report is muscle and this muscle okay so okay uh, repeat after me uh, this organ called what heart called what heart this organ called stomach stomach and this organ called veins veins this organ called bones bones this organ called what skin 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 cover all my body this organ called what muscle okay muscle muscle so uh, i have many many organs in our body okay but what is the organ that cover all my body cover all my body and protect all the body huh yes this is called what right skin okay skin cover all my body Cover what? All my body. Okay, close your book and listen to me. Uh, some parts of my body give me protection. It protect my body. Okay, it keep me healthy like what? Like skin. Like what? Like skin. Okay, do you see? This is what? This is a, a photo of skin. Okay, this skin is made up of one layer, one layer or many layer, many layer. This is layer and this layer and this is layer. Okay, so skin has many layers. Skin has 
many layer the layer of skin like this okay but I see what I see the upper part only in in this head uh, hand I see the upper part okay but inside this uh, there is more more layers of what of skin okay so skin uh, what is the uh, benefit of skin number one uh, give me protection number two keep me healthy okay uh, skin has many layers but we see the upper board only okay right date Twelve dash eleven dash twenty twenty. Look at uh, this oranges, uh, orange sorry, and uh, my hand. Okay, this orange and my hand. What is the similar between this cover of orange and the uh, the skin? Skin cover all my body, right? and give me protection and this cover of orange huh, do the same thing as yes cover the orange and give it protection okay what is the difference between this and this the difference between this the uh, color color of this is orange and the color of me is not orange it like uh, is the color of skin okay so uh, there is many uh, different and many what many similarities okay similarities like what it give me protection and cover the body okay uh, the differences is what the color is difference between them so what they are similar because what because they protect the body they protect the body they are different because what the color and shape are different the color and shape are different okay how our skin protect us number one the skin like this skin uh, around my body protect me from harmful germs or harmful bacteria or uh, viruses okay so the skin do what protect my body protect my body from harmful germs germs can't go inside can't go inside my body okay so number one protect us from harmful germs protect us from harmful germs okay number two protect us from rays of the sun from rays of the sun the skin protect us from this rays rays can't go inside my body and can't burn our uh, organs okay so it protect us from rays of the sun Number three, it keep fluids in. What's the meaning of fluids? Fluids like a liquid. Okay. Blood and water is what is a fluid. Okay. If I don't have uh, a skin, the water will what? Leak. Okay. So the skin keep, keep the water inside my body. Keep my the water inside my body body okay and it keep what it keeps the blood keeps the blood inside my body it covers the body and it keeps the blood inside my body so number three is what keep fluids in keep fluids in keep fluids in number four it keep our temperature constant keep our temperature constant okay if um, the sun in the summer is so hot right so my body do what my body releasing or 
secreting sweat okay this sweat do what down my temperature and keep my temperature constant okay by secreting what by secreting sweat by secreting sweat okay so my body can keep its temperature constant by what by sweat okay in the winter we uh, secrete a sweat no few few uh, amount of sweat because the, uh, the weather is cold okay but in summer the weather is very hot so my body secrete what secrete sweat secrete what sweat from my body and uh, this sweat do what this sweat keep our temperature constant keep our temperature constant okay so number four is what is keep our temperature constant okay uh read the date we do what here we in the we underline how our skin protects us and the circle ways you can protect our skin okay our skin is all that stand between us and the outside world this uh, skin stand between us and outside uh, world it protect us from harmful germs this is number one underline it and rays from the sun number two rays from the sun number three it keeps fluids in underline it and helps keep our temperature constant number uh, five uh, underline it our skin weigh about four kilograms the weight of our skin about what about four kilogram it is the largest organ in our body it is the largest organ it cover all of my body so it is what it is the largest organ in my body our skin is made up of multiple layer multiple means many many layers some you can see you can see uh, this and some are under the surface we can see the upper part only the top layer is about half as thick as a sheet of paper like sheet like this paper or a sheet of paper the thick of this uh, skin is like a sheet of paper okay we make new skin all the time constantly make making a new layer keeps our skin healthy and whole our skin provides good protection our skin provides what good protection protect me from what from two things number one from rays number two from germs the ray the rays of the sun can hurt our skin when we are in the sun when we go to the beach uh, the uh, our skin uh, harm from the sun is harmed from the sun right so our skin makes a substance this substance guard against harm harmful rays okay this substance here like this substance it is called melanin melanin in this uh, uh, layer do what guard against or protect uh, the uh, skin from the sun okay but we can uh, improve this protection by putting what by putting a sunscreen or some block some block or sunscreen can help protect against harmful rays okay so circle sunscreen however the best way to block out the sun is to cover up cover your eyes with sunglasses cover your uh, body with uh, clothes and cover your body with sunscreen so what 
uh, circle cover up if we take good care of our skin it can protect us for a long time okay if i put if i put a sunscreen or sunblock on my body or my on my skin the sun rays reflect and and don't enter to my body this is what this cause harm of my body like this uh, photo uh, if i don't use a sunscreen i will get what look at this this sunscreen go inside my body and make a some burners some burners uh, on my skin so sunscreen keep the real color okay the real color of our skin if i don't put a sunscreen my color is become darker okay dark darker uh, or uh, become black okay so we uh, must what we must use a sunscreen how we enjoy the sun safely number one number one use sunscreen number two cover up with hat and sunglasses and clothes and so on number uh, three find a shade okay a shade, find a shade sorry I, I, I use this umbrella when i go to uh, beach to what to make this shade for me so uh, our skin is very important organ of my body and we need to what we need to protect this and uh, keep this skin healthy for a long time okay thank you junior three